is what happened on the farm these days. The rat get like a hole on the chocolate. He out all the chocolate, you see them? The rat take a hole inside the farm. All the chocolate. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. That's the nature of life. Yeah. You can get a one or two and pick some still. Here we go. This is what we do. Originally, pick the chocolate, let it dry, and start out the salt. This is a good chocolate. So, right already destroy all these over here. Right, get involved. Destroy all of them chocolate. Good old Jamaican style, you know the wood, farm of Jamaica, you know? That's how we do. Good old chocolate, you know, the pan in the state. So let's finish up. That's how we do it on the farm, you know? That's what happened on the farm. Now the chocolate kind of out of season out in there. You can get a couple of these. You know, not for, you know, just for home purpose. You can get a couple of a dozen for the farm, you know. And then by the next by the come down to Christmas uh, into January, we have a lot of chocolate. You know. At this given time now we just have a few. So you see we have you know the nature of life. We wrap them really destroy them, yeah. You know? you know. There you go, see? On the tree floor. Right? They don't do nothing. Let's get this the juice. Right? They don't eat it. They don't drink that because it's bitter in it. It's bitter and it's like that. So they don't drink that. Then they take the juice from it. Look at the juice, you know? And it's it's a roll of chocolate right here. Hey, good morning to all of you over there. Welcome always to the uh, Hopkinson Kitchen, you might say, yeah? But today, you know, so here we go. Here we have here now is chocolate. Cocoa pad, we call it, you know? This is the thing that makes the hot chocolate. This is the thing that makes the gourmet chocolate bars and all that. Here we go. It's originally from this pad right here. Get the little machete and open it like that. This is what it looks like. That's the chocolate. So what you do is take it up. You know, like that. Yeah. This is the chocolate. Take it up. Right here, this chocolate itself, right here, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we always say so we always go back to our origin days. Then, we grandma in the fields, and we get a nice chocolate. Yeah. The thing from the syrup, and we call it nectar, very different. And then there's a lot of energy there. Okay, boys and girls, it's, good, it's a good thing to have you back again. Today, we are featuring chocolate. This is original chocolate. Chocolate, original chocolate right here. Yeah, from the chocolate. This is cocoa, all right? And this is what we're going to do here now today. Today, we're going to parch. We said we parch the cocoa beans. Yeah, we parch the cocoa beans by parsing it like that. You get hot and they're going to pop, right? You get hot. 
So we take off the shell. We take off the skin of this. That's what's going on, alright? So we're gonna part the chocolate today. Well, you got all different types of you know ways of doing it, but this is the original Jamaican way we put in the pot and we're gonna parch it. Okay, naturally. Back in the days, grandma put in a three foot pot, you know, a three foot iron pot then. Put it on the full coast over the wood fire. And you get your stick and you start, you get your bamboo joint, you start turning around. Yeah? You get your bamboo joint, you start turning around. Yeah? Something looking like this. You start turning around like that. Yeah, and you pop and you pop up. Pop, pop. Yeah? Where you can smell it. Uh, sometimes I just wonder why you guys can't get the flavor. Uh, the smell through the camera. Jamaican people, you know, one thing with them, you know. If them pass a yard, you smile, you know, you can say, you what can, you know, so I curry chicken them and them. And if I curry beef, and if I curry pork, and if I stew chicken, you know, and if I chicken food, they know, I don't know, Jamaican people, we have this sense of having to know what is cooking in the kitchen. You pass by. Yeah, man, you know, so I stew chicken, I go on it. Yes. You know? All of that. When you come on to the meat, we have a sense of picking up what meat cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, so as you there, we know the pot bottom kitchen again. And you know, we're getting the chocolate, this original chocolate. Yeah? Original chocolate bean. Alright. What we do? Have it like that. And we get it parched. Okay? Still on the fire for a little while. We get it parched. But the next thing about it, I might say, you know. This nectar we get from this thing is good to make vinegar. Like what you need to make vinegar? I'm gonna start up some vinegar one of them days there. Yeah, yeah man. So I'm gonna squeeze up the nectar one day. The next time I'm doing it, I pack that on the kitchen. Yeah, get some vinegar, some chocolate vinegar. Man. Yes, man. Put on our food. Parching chocolate right now. Ah, you're in popping? Pop. When you pop your turn. Yes, I didn't pop your turn. So you know you're on the right track. Yes, no. Pop your turn. Yes. Really? You know? This is what we want, the beam. Yeah? Put them off like that and get the beam. Yeah? I got some beam here in it, don't think. Got some bean already, you pop them again, eh? turn them in pop, you can pop your turning. Yeah. You're going to pop your turning, but you just have to cool them a little bit, you know. Now let me take them in. You must have to cool them a little bit. And you can get to rub them off. Yeah. That. We have a whole bunch of it right here. Okay. What we do now, we put this in the fridge. Okay. Put this in the fridge. Let it get real cold. Okay. Because we're not gonna beat it now. We're not gonna beat it in the matcha. Back in the days, we do matcha and we beat it and all that. We're not gonna do matcha. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna put it in the blender. In the blender and blend them out with all your spices. You know, you're gonna put some spice inside. You're gonna put your cinnamon stick, cinnamon leaf naturally, cinnamon leaf and your nutmeg. Yes, the cinnamon leaf you're gonna put inside. Put it. And you're gonna have nutmeg. Yes, nutmeg. Yes, nutmeg. You're gonna put two nutmeg in that. And in the people, you're gonna have the cinnamon leaf. The cinnamon leaf, eh? nutmeg and cinnamon leaf. Okay, we're gonna put them in the blender, blend them out, and we'll see. We're gonna be powdery. Okay, we're gonna have something looking like that. It's chocolate. Blend them out. There's chocolate right here. Chocolate. We're gonna blend them out like that, and we don't need nothing else. Yeah, put them in the blender, but you gotta cool down first. Okay, we're gonna cool them down. Put them in the blender, and then we're gonna. The result is gonna be something like this. Okay, so stay tuned. 
if you want to seal it, you got to touch it. Pop button. Touch that subscribe button. Welcome back again to Pop Button Kitchen. And here we go. Again. So we have some cinnamon stick inside this. Now we have the nutmeg. We drop them inside the blender. We're going to put two nutmeg inside our stick. We got cinnamon stick, okay? Yep. Here we go. We're going to get it blended, okay? This is where we're going to have our chocolate. Powdered cinnamon, cinnamon stick, powdered cinnamon stick, right here, and nutmeg. And we're gonna put some chocolate in this baby here. Chocolate. What I'm gonna do now is chocolate. I'm gonna take it after we do like this, put it in the fridge. We're gonna blend again, okay? So we're gonna put it in the fridge, get it cold, yeah, get it cold and blend it all over again. Yeah. Okay. okay, this is our chocolate, original chocolate. Alright, see, you have a great time getting up. You have a great time. Take it, blend it. As we said, we blend it from here with a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. Yeah, in there. You're not made in there. Yeah, man, you're not made. You're blending. You're blending. Blending. Powdery. All right.